we were talking about Faikava and how Faikava doesn't actually do what this um, uh, Gava Club podcast claims that we do. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wanda Kuzi of the Gava Club podcast. So that was a live video I saw on Facebook that one of my followers sent me. And it was two Polynesian men sharing their opinions and disagreements of the Gava video I made last week. Now, this isn't a video of me trying to clap back at them because I do respect their opinion. But I wanted to address a few things they said just to clear the air because oftentimes when people have a built-in bias towards a topic and are not objective, they often don't listen to understand but listen to respond, especially if it's coming from somebody with an opposing view. But here's a few things I wanted to address. To throw the whole entire community, and we're talking about a whole world of Faikava people, I'm not here to propagate the idea that the practice of Faigava is terrible. Look, I believe it's a beautiful part of our Polynesian culture. As you guys can see, I addressed that in the beginning of my video. That the purpose of my video is not to propagate the idea that Faigava is terrible. There's nothing wrong with Faigava. It's a beautiful part of our Polynesian culture. I was just bringing awareness to certain behaviors that happen in Faigava clubs to open it up for discussion. And that's what I do on my podcast. He tried to claim that this is what Faikava leads to. is to adultery. It leads to violence. It leads to idolization. But what I am shining an objective light on is that the reality is that the Faikava sessions in Western society is starting to evolve to become a place. As you guys can see, I didn't claim that Faikava leads or encourages those behaviors. I said that Faikava is starting to evolve to become a place where these behaviors are occurring. And I wanted to shine a objective light on something that is not a great representation of Faikava. And instead of ignoring it like we often do in the Pali community, I wanted to open it up and talk about it. I'm gonna have a panel of women that automatically told me, okay, so he's doing this for the women? You automatically know that they're going to be emotional when you do this. Yes, I was planning to have a discussion about this topic with a panel of women because the women also have an opinion about this topic too, not only the men. And of course, some of these women are going to be emotional about this topic because who also gets affected when poly men do stupid shit at these fight cover clubs? It's their women. So whether you agree or disagree, I invite you guys to be part of this week's Cover Club Podcast live Zoom show this Wednesday, October 13th at 9 p.m. California time. The Zoom links below. I'm going to break all this down and also expose raw footage of what happens in these five cover clubs behind closed doors. See you guys there. Facts over feelings. Peace.